Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, do you recommend any pre-marriage books for couples looking to get married? Well, I'll tell you this, I am really excited because I'm delving into a, a new form of study, a new realm of study that marries a lot of my divergent thoughts together. In other words, I've discovered what brings bioenergetics, which is sexuality of the body, which is a sense of feeling in the body, which is energetic strength, which is the body is the mind, soul work, and theology. It's called Theology of the Body. And there's a lot of writings given by uh, Carol Wojtyla, who was Pope John Paul II. And actually, I didn't bring the books in here, but I, I bought a pile of books, including this one given to me as a gift uh, called Fill These Hearts, which are associated with God, sex, and the universal longing. These are all good things to know to have a good sense of rightly ordered sexuality. And in marriage, I mean, you go, a lot of uh, the, the theology of the body talks by Pope John Paul II, are, they're all related to marriage and gender, gender and marriage. And what we've lost in our world is that sense of gender. That's why marriage doesn't work. We don't have gender, generativity, we, uh, uh, and we're not very generative. We don't, we're, we're making less babies. When I say we, I'm talking about white people in America, right? There was a time when like, European families were like six to 12 kids. Now, because we're degenerate and we're using contraception and we're more busy jerking off the porn and, and killing our babies in the womb, we're not very generate. Do you recommend any pre-marriage books? Yeah, I do. Theology buys cool stuff. I'm gonna be diving into it. I'm gonna be teaching it myself. So maybe you stick around for that because it's kind of hard to unpack. But. One book I always recommend, I've been talking about it, I've been teaching on it. If you go inside the GTG course, I do a whole series on this, on marriage and the family, St. John Chrysostom. So these are, these, are, these are biblical passages that you want to dive deep into and understand. In, in fact, in Theology of the Body, uh, Pope John Paul does this also as well. And then he has a sermon on marriage and how to choose a wife. And as you can see, I like, I've studied this book hard. And I would invite you to do it as well. Study that book. Now, I'm going to recommend this book because they're on the right track. Uh, and I love them as a couple. I had them on my podcast a couple weeks ago. Tim and Stephanie Gordon. Tim is awesome. He's just way too smart for me. And so he starts, starts talking. It goes way over my head. I do a podcast with him every week also. So his writing is no less brainy. If you're a brainy guy, you're going to love this. Um... I grasped the concept. I loved what he was sharing, but it was, it's just a tough read for me. I'm not that smart, I guess. But for a man to read The Case for Patriarchy, great book for understanding your role as a husband and a father. This is something that the world doesn't teach us anymore because why are we, why? Because we're anti-patriarchy because they've been saying smash the patriarchy, bunch of feminists since the 1950s, at least. Um, we live in a matriarchy uh, and there is hatred for the father, uh, hatred for God the Father, and there's hatred for the family in our society. And there's no question about it because look at how it's being destroyed. Read the case for patriarchy. And then his wife wrote a book that's sort of, I want to say, like the companion book for women. Ask your husband, which, you know, if you're asking your husband, that means you support patriarchy because patriarchy means father rule. And I've interviewed both Tim by himself and Stephanie as well. And so you might want to go watch those. Also, you know, I don't want to brag, but go and watch the podcast with me and my wife. Because you know what? The best way to know how to have an, a well-ordered marriage? Study well-ordered marriages. That's why in a society where marriages don't work, marriages won't work. Because if you don't have parents that know how to love each other the right way, in a biblical way, in a generative way, then how are you going to know how to do it? The way you know how to conduct yourself in marriage is by watching married people do it. And I would say that's a big part of the reason why my marriage works is because both myself and my wife watched my parents. And so this is what I would recommend you and your wife do. Go and interview couples that you respect. You know, you might find them, you know, maybe they're at your job, maybe they're at your church, maybe they're in your neighborhood, maybe they're family members you know, right? Like, oh, my aunt and uncle have been together for 50 years. Go and sit down, ask them questions. What do you guys do when you have this problem? How is it that you guys stayed together for so long? I might even do a podcast series on that, just a bunch of couples, because we need it.
Because most of us come from homes where we can't look at our parents and say, oh, that's how marriage is done. Either the, either marriage didn't work and there's divorce, which is, you know, 60%, more than 50%. Or they stay together, but it's like, yeah, but my parents, I'm not sure they even really like each other. You know, I hear a lot of that. Yeah, my parents are together, but <laughs> I don't know why, you know. So that's, a, that's my advice on that, bro. Hope that helps. Yo, Elliot. 